Well, hi, Zach. Hi, over Easter. Six mm. points, two clean sheets. Does it get much better as a defender? <laughs> no, not really. It was, uh, it was a good period. Um, games in quick succession and, like you say, six points and, uh, and clean sheets, which is always nice. Do you feel like the team really deserved <laughs> those, those, those wins after the tough period? Yeah, for sure. I mean, tough period or not, I think in those games we, we deserved the, the wins and, uh, and we were clinical in those games and, and that's, that's paid off. Um, and yeah, I think, I think over, over the course of, of the Easter break, we, we were obviously in and working hard and to get the sort of the six points is like, okay, cool, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's worth it and, it and it's good. Are they particularly satisfying for you as a defender, those 1-0 wins? Yeah, I mean it. <laughs> it's a little nervy, obviously. Um, but yeah, of course. I mean, when you when when the final also goes and you know you you won one nil and and or you, there's a nil there, it's it's good. Um, so yeah, it's uh it's definitely definitely nice to, to sort of the first thing me and Rob say to each other is clean sheet, well done. So yeah, we focus on that and and let the boys at the front put the ball in the back of the net. What do you think <clears throat> improved the most over those two performances? Um. I think it was more of a ruthlessness in both boxes to to keep the ball out, um, and obviously we had we had a lot of chances in in both of those games. Um, and granted, in the Leicester game, they had some chances as well. Um, that was a bit more sort of evenly matched in, in terms of chances. Um, but we 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 obviously took ours, and and yeah, I think we were just a bit more ruthless, and it was it was nice to you know to have a game and and, and feel that. So yeah, I think that was the sort of the biggest difference, really. And touching on the Monday game, was it important to get those three points against a team below you in the division? Because there's been a lot of results like the Leicester one, Southampton, yeah. beating those teams above you and in really good positions. Yeah. But you were able to beat a team that were, that were lower than you. Yeah, I think obviously, you know, we've 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 done well against the teams that are above us. Um, and like you say, to, to sort of get a result against a team that is below us, even though it's obviously a good team, um, to uh, to get to get a result there is is I wouldn't say it's a marker down, but it's it's more of like a okay you know we, this is the this is the standard we can raise our standards when we play against the sort of teams that are above us and I don't want to say better teams but the teams that are above us and whatnot. Um, but you know we have to we have to make sure that we're at that standard at that level for for every game. Um, so yeah, like you said, when, when we do it against a team that's below us, it's uh, it's nice and three points is three points if it's against top of the table or bottom of the table. So happy days. Was there any difference in difficulty in, in playing in those games, playing a, a team like Leicester and a team like Plymouth? Uh, no, I'd say it's just it's just a different game. It's just you know against Leicester, you know that they're going to have a lot of the ball, um, and we might have to sort of just change our tactics slightly. Um, <clears throat> whereas against Plymouth, we 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 controlled the game a little bit more um, than sort of we would have done obviously in that in that Leicester game. Um, so yeah, I think I think that was sort of the biggest difference, being able to adapt to being a team that's sort of going to sit back against a team that we know are going to want to keep the ball, and then to be that team playing against the Plymouth. Um, so yeah, I mean it was two different games, but um, I wouldn't say it was any sort of more difficult or less difficult. It's just that's just switching up the game plan week to week and who we're playing. And obviously facing Sunderland next, a team literally next to you in in the table. I mean, are these the 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 games that will push you forward away from mid table. Yeah, of course you you know you beat the teams that are around you and you you're gonna sort of close the ground up I guess. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough game. It's gonna be a good game. Um, atmosphere up there is always gonna be great. And and like it was uh, last year, it was it was amazing. And you know the sort of the atmosphere was amazing anyway. Um, but yeah, I think it will be it will be a similar game to you know it, it'll be a tough championship game as, as we sort of feel like we say all the time um, but it yeah if, if, if we win that game we can we can close the ground up and, and that's important to beat the teams that are around you for sure and on a personal note how do you feel like the season's gone for you yeah good um, yeah, I started the season well had an injury um, so sort of forced out really from that and then came back and felt like I hit the ground running and yeah it was I, f I feel good I feel confident in myself and feel and feel good and feel like I've had a decent season so you know, it's not quite done yet, um, but yeah, um, I, I feel I feel good. And how important is it to finish the season strong in this sort of business end? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, we want to finish as high as possible. Um, we want to we want to pick up as many points as possible, and we want to put on the best performance that we can. Um, everyone here is striving for that, and uh, and I think that's that's the key thing that everyone here is striving for that, and it's not just sort of winding down time, and that's not the case at all. We're we're always 
striving to be to get the best possible performance or the best results or best finish or whatever we can do. So um, yeah, that is that's key, and we can't sort of take our eye off uh, the ball really. And there are changes sometimes in game defensively, but do you feel like that back line is gelling really well together now? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. I think we've we've had. Um, me and Rob have had, especially, have had sort of some some a lot of game time together, really. Um, so yeah, I think everybody in the back four, three, five, whatever it might be, will uh, will feel sort of confident in themselves, I guess. I know we've had a couple of injuries coming in, coming out, but I think everybody knows what what they need to be doing when they come in. And 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 like I said, me and Rob have played a lot of football together this season, and it's been great. <laughs> So, yeah. And Sunderland had a really tough result last time out, conceding five goals. Does that play on your mind at all? Do you ever look into that as players? Not really, because, well, I don't personally, because, you know, yeah, they they obviously lost pretty heavily, but that equally might mean that they're going to be firing out the traps really quickly, or it might mean that they're, they're, their confidence is low. So I, you can, I don't really look into it too much. You sort of just, we have to go with our game plan. We have to go with our, Sort of how we are off the back of six points and a clean sheet, uh, clean sheets, and um, and take that to them and just sort of play what's in front of us. Really, we can't we can't be thinking, oh, their confidence might be low or they're, you know, they got to bounce back or whatever. We just got to make sure that we we go there and implement ourselves as much as possible. You touched on it there, the stadium of light. It's an impressive stadium, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's mad that they were even in <coughs> League One. And how much do you enjoy playing in these kind of games? Oh yeah, of course. You know, it's it's an amazing stadium and playing in front of. Was it forty thousand on average or something? It, it, it's yeah, it's 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 everyone's dream really to, to sort of play in big games or big atmospheres like that. I should say um, we've had it a couple of times this season. You know, with, with sort of the prem games that we've had, and yeah, I think it's it's always it's always a good atmosphere out there. So it'd be nice to to go out there and try and silence them. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Good luck. No problem, thank you. You and Rob, how's the kind of the dynamic worked? How have you kind of built that chemistry, or was it something that you? Hit it off straight away. It kind of was that. I'll be real. It kind of was like we started the season and played a lot of football together. And in pre-season, we played a lot of football together. So that naturally just builds. We get on off the pitch. So it's it's kind of a natural thing that will just gel. Um, we like we get on. We we sort of know each other's game a little bit. And over the season, that will that will sort of develop. And I think at this part of the season, it, we sort of got a feel of what each other are like and what we complement and what we don't complement, do you know what I mean? And, and all that sort of stuff. So I think it's just, a, it wasn't really a sit down, right, you do, it wasn't really, a, it's never really going to be like that. It was more just a natural gelling of playing a lot of football together and and sort of having good banter off the pitch, I guess. It is as simple as that, really. Um, but yeah, no, we, we do gel and it's it's been good. And obviously, you've known Max forever, so yeah. that helps. <laughs> that helps, well. yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure, yeah. I mean, that's that's an obvious one. That's, that's a natural obvious one. Um, and yeah, the three of us have sort of, like you say, picked up a a good a good relationship and and had some good performances. So yeah, I forgot to ask Max this, so I have to ask you this. So apologies because you probably don't want to. But the pass to Jamie, I oh know it wasn't a pass to Jamie, but that, and he's not a big shouter, but he did. What did it? I just wondered what was his reaction to you. Was it an apology? Or was it? Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure we can say it now. Um, no, it was. It is what it is, isn't it? We're gonna both have opinions on it. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't really say much more no, than that. Course. To be honest with you, it is what it is. It's, it's a situation. I'll now. get to the building up. Yeah. Because that's now a huge part of the game, isn't it? For, for the, that's, I guess you could say this season. Um, how are you kind of? Because you you like the ball at your feet, don't you? So like, how are you kind of finding that it's process? Great. It's great. Yeah, I think. <clears throat> um, we've obviously done it a lot more of late and I think it's just having the confidence and the trust in each other to to know that we're all playing at this level for a reason and we can cope with the ball at our feet and we can do it um, and I think getting the confidence to do it and getting the patterns sort of given to us and stuff is, is obviously a big help and and I think with Max who is also confident with the ball at his feet and comfortable we, we can trust him to take that extra second on it and then play it or or whatnot, and play it to players that are comfortable on it, and I think that's uh, that's a big plus and a big sort of development that we steps in development we've taken this season um, as a team and as a as a group and especially as a backline because that's where it starts um, to sort of making us I don't know a more sort of comfortable 
to deal in those high pressure moments sort of team. Um, and I think it's been good. Does it tap into kind of the idea of bravery that the head coach? For sure, hundred yeah. percent. Sure, I think that's you know that goes under that bracket and making sure that sort of the the, the behaviours of when I don't know when Max has got the ball and someone is coming at the right time and we know when we're playing it or it it could be any of the sort of patterns that we might do. Um, I think it is it is about bravery because. <laughs> You know, it can be quite daunting. He is the last line of, <laughs> if he messes it up, it, it tends to be a goal. So, yeah, I think it is, you know, it's about the bravery and us just having full confidence in him being able to do it and us being able to cope with it. And, um, yeah, absolutely. I think it's, I'm more than comfortable with him doing it. I know he's good with the ball. And I guess it's kind of, you, you know, you always want to be challenged as players, you always want to develop as players, you always want to become a better player. So it, 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 it's all of course. Like that, yeah. Oh, of course, of course. Everybody here, we say it all the time, don't we? So if we're not acting on it, then what are the words for? So we are, we are trying to act on it, and and it is definitely something that is going to make us better players. So we want to try and implement it as much as possible. The clothing, Babel. Could you talk about how that's? Sorry, if I sound like this is a this is <laughs> a, a advert. It's not. But <laughs> You're good. <laughs> interested? Like how how did that come about? Um, yeah, it, the the club came to me and and, uh, and said they wanted to do this and I was all for it. Um, I am all for it. And uh, it's something that I, I'm into. So it's kind of like a, it, for me, it made, you know, made sense for, the, for, for them to do it. And, you know, for me to help out doing little bits and bobs here and there, like when, whatever sort of input I could have with it. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously my middle name, my, my African name, half Kenyan so it's it's on Diego from that and it's um yeah it's it's a cool idea and when they came to me with it I was I was all for it so what what's kind of been your role in the process like have you been designing stuff have you been or is it kind of designs come to you and you like how does that bit a bit, bit of both um more sort of designs come to me um but yeah a little bit of both to be fair I've, I've tried to have as much input as possible we, we started talking about it a while ago and we had about a thousand games in short space of time yeah. so we obviously hadn't had too much sort of combo on it and stuff but um yeah that was kind of basically hit the nail on the head with that um come, designs come to me i'd have a look at it they'd have a look at stuff they'd make designs and away we go because like your dad's like the not design but you know what i mean like yeah. he's good for her yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like is that something you've been good at yourself yeah, I, I can't draw at all. Oh, okay. The creativity comes in other places, I yeah. guess, in other ways. And and um, he, yeah, he when he when I told him about it, he was like, obviously all for it. And he was excited to see how it would come out and stuff like that. And um, yeah, both my parents are obviously very arty. So it was, uh, it was a cool idea for them to sort of think about and see what was going to come from it, really, and see without judging, <laughs> for their words, <laughs> um, seeing how it was going to come out. But yeah, it was good. Um, obvious question then. Apart from yourself, who's the best dressed in the in the, in the squad? I like you said, apart from yourself, um, <laughs> I've got to give uh, I've got to give Cal Naismith his props. Really? So, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, he's 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 got a bit. Um, he'll he'll really enjoy that as well. <laughs> yeah, I think he's sitting out there as well. So, <laughs> um, Tommy's up there. Tommy's good. There's a few. There's a few boys. There's there's a couple of questionable. We won't go down that road. Well, that was good. that was good. <laughs> there's a couple of questionable ones. Who's I, who? I think the obvious one that everyone would say is Joe. Um, okay, but I've seen him have a go, and I don't mind it. D squared all the way. Uh, yeah, a lot of that, a lot of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a couple of questionable stuff um, in there. I think if you go down there now, you'll see a lot of questionable stuff. But each to their own, in it. I'm not, I'm not here to judge. <laughs> and then, how have they received the new game? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, they've. I haven't seen anyone rocking it yet. Um, which I'm gonna get on them for, uh, but yeah, no, they, they obviously they they said it's a good idea and a, and a good a good thing for me. So I'll crack on with it. Is it because like you're in the zone so much yeah. as a footballer, as an athlete, all that kind of stuff? Like just to have that little, however small it may be, that ever because a lot a of little bubble away from it. Yeah, just it's just because it's not like you know playing FIFA, still playing football. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. it is completely. I know it's linked with the club and all that, but it is a it is a yeah, different yeah, for sure. Thing. I mean, it's it's yeah for sure. I think for me, um, I'm my, like you say, my my focus solely is on football. Um, but like you say, if there is that little bit away from it that you can sort of turn off a little bit and just sort of have a bit of a a, a, a deep breath, really, of like, 
okay, then if, if it's that and that for me is that, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I got to sort of express myself with that and it's something that I'm massively into. So down the line, wherever that may be, if I wanted to do something external on my own, then that would be something that would be quite cool. But this was sort of like a tester, I guess, for me um, and especially in the club, you know. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's important that people and players and they have a little bubble away as well, um, whether that be family, whether that be fashion, whether that be anything, you know, I think football can can take over some people's lives and I'm guilty for that. Um, but when I can, I will, I will try and have a deep breath away from it. What do you hope to achieve, whether it be yourself or I guess of the team as well, over these sort of remaining six games? What's, what's kind of the... the... Just, to, just to get as literally as high as possible and win as many points as, as we can, sort of look at it as a mini season and, and try and try and just climb up the league as where we can and, and just put on the best, like I said earlier on, put on the best performances, try, try and get the most points that we can and, and just see what happens and just try and get as high up, up, up the league as possible. Um, I think that's the main thing and, and make sure that no one here is, is off the ball, really. Um, and I think that's, like I said, no one is. So, <laughs> so it's good and that is a bonus. And, we, you know, we're not, we're not thinking, oh, well, we're in April now and it's winding down. We are all focused on the next game and the next game and the next game. And like I said, just try and win as many, many points as possible. Does last season's total and position, does that come into it at all and kind of wanting to better that or is that irrelevant as well? Maybe for some people, I think for me, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward, I'm looking for like the now and forward. So I'm, I want to make sure that we are just, we are where we are now. We can't do anything about last season. So we want to make sure that we are just focusing on how high we can get now. Um, of course, it would be nice to beat last season's total or beat last season's place or whatever it might be. And we want to just because that would obviously mean progression. Um, so that's that's what we would like to do. But I'm not sort of thinking, oh, well, if we win today, we'll go. I'm just cracking on with what's in front and, and trying to, I know it's a cliche, but just trying to take it as, as, as game by game or day by day, whatever you want to say, as, as I can.